Hi friends, good evening. Once again, welcome back to my channel Mukambika Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC and RRB exam. Also, these questions will helpful for your other exam preparations. ESIC a nursing officer exam is on 7th July. Only 15 days is remaining. So, this is the time for your rapid revision. Cover all the subject wise questions. Also, previous year question purpose. Here we can see questions from community health nursing. In the previous video also we discussed questions from community health nursing. We will see the questions. First question, which antibodies helps to diagnose congenital rubella in infants? Options, option A, IgM, option B, IgA, option C, IgG and option D, IgE. The antibody which helps to diagnose or which helps to detect congenital rubella in infants is IgM. Option A is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Why glucose is added to antidiarrheal solution? Options. Option A. It increases the absorption of amino acid. Option B. It increases the absorption of sodium. Option C. It provides sweet. Option D. All of this. Question. Why glucose is adding to antidiarrheal solution? Because it increases the absorption of sodium. Option B is the correct answer. It increases glucose, increases the absorption of sodium. Move on to the next question. Zinc phosphide is an efficient. Options. Option A. Disinfectant. Option B. Bactericide. Option C. Insecticide. Option D. Rodenticide. Zinc phosphide is an example of rodenticide. Option D is the correct answer. A rodenticide are chemical agent which is used to kill the rodents. For example, rodents, example, rat, mice, chipbugs. For killing this rodents, rodenticide are used. Example, zinc phosphide. Move on to the next question. Q fever is transmitted by options. Option A, mosquito. Option B, ticks. Option C, mites. Option D, a rat flea. Q fever is a type of zoonotic disease. The causative agent is coxella burniti and ticks which act as a vector as well as a reservoir. So it is transmitted by ticks. Option B is the correct answer. On to the next question. Japanese encephalitis is transmitted by options. Option A mosquito. Option B ticks. Option C mites. Option D a rat flea. Japanese encephalitis is a mosquito borne disease which is caused by group B arbovirus or flabby virus which is transmitted by Culex species mosquito. On to the next question. Chicken gunia is transmitted by options. Option A. Aedes mosquito. Option B. Culex mosquito. Option C. Anophylax mosquito. And option D. Mansonoids. Chicken gunia is transmitted by Aedes mosquito. Option A is the correct answer. Usually Aedes aegypti and Aedes albopictus. And the next question. This is which is transmitted by water and food are called. Options. Option A. Vector bone disease. Option B. Air bone disease. Option C. Vocal bone disease. Option D. Format bone disease. This is which is transmitted by water and food or called vehicle bone disease. Vector bone means transmitted by vectors. For example, mosquito, ticks, fleas or vectors. They are vector bone disease. Airborne means through droplet infection. Vehicle bone means transmitted by water and food. And format bone means infection which are getting from contaminated object. Okay. Here... Through water and food are called vocal bone disease. Option C. Move on to the next question. Urban malaria scheme is based on options. Option A. Epidermiological survey. Option B. Anti-larval measures. Option C. Anti-adult mosquito measures. Option D. Chemo prophylaxis. 
അർബൺ മലേറിയ സ്കീം ഇസ് ബേസ്ഡ് ഓൺ ആൻറ്റി ലാർവൽ മെഷേഴ്സ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഇസ് ദി കറക്റ്റ് ആൻസർ And the next question, in which state Beti Bechao, Beti Padao scheme was launched? Options, option A, Bihar, option B, Rajasthan, option C, Haryana, option D, Uttar Pradesh. Beti Bechao, Beti Padao scheme was launched in Haryana. Option C is the correct answer. The main objective of this scheme is protection and survival of the girl child especially their education move on to the next question name the special deposit account under beti bachao beti padao scheme options option a janani samrathi account option b janana suraksha samrathi account option c sukanya samrathi account option d beti samrathi account question is special deposit account for the scheme is sukanya samrathi account option c is the correct answer sukanya samrathi account the next question how many district are selected throughout the country for beti bachao beti padao scheme options option a 50 district option b 100 district option c 150 district option d 200 district and the total district selected is 100 district okay throughout the country according to beti bachao beti padao scheme and the next question what is the cover amount for fully disability in pradhan mantri suraksha bima yojana options option a 1 lakh option b 2 lakh option c 3 lakh option d 4 lakh The scheme that is Pradhan Mandri Suraksha Bhima Yojana covers both disability and death related to accident and the amount which cover the scheme is 2 lakh. Option B is the correct answer. And the next question. National Family Health Survey is done in every options. Option A 1 year, Option B 3 year, Option C 5 years, Option D 10 years. National Family Family Health Survey is done in every 5 years. Option C is the correct answer. And the next question. I-M-N-C-I is full form is. Options. Option A. Integrated Mother and Neonate Critical Illness. Option B. Integrated Mother and Newborn Clinical Illness. Option C. Integrated Management of Neonatal and Childhood Illness. Option D. Integrated Management of Neonatal Critical Illness. Question. Full form of IMNCI is Integrated Management of Neonatal and Childhood Illness. Option C is the correct answer. This IMNCI is... is started in india in the year 2003 this is also important point move on to the next question next question also related imnci question is one of the previous year question okay imnci target age group is options option a up to 5 years option b up to 10 years option c up to 15 years option d up to 20 years imnci means integrated management of neonatal and childhood illness and its target age group is up to 5 years or children below 5 years if the option below 5 years means that also correct below 5 years move on to the next question a patient is treated at home is allotted which color code according to imnci options option a pink option b red option c green option d yellow According to IMNCI, the color code which is given for the treatment at home is green. Option C is the correct answer. Different color code according to IMNCI we can see a red color. A red color indicate greater than 2 months baby, greater than 2 months and need urgent referral to hospital. And pink color means baby less than 2 months referral to hospital. and uh, yellow color means treatment at opd basis and green color means treatment at home move on to the next question this is which are prevented by imnci include all except options option a diarrhea option b pneumonia option c malaria 
Option D. Marasmus. The disease which is prevented by IMNCI includes acute respiratory disease that is ARDS or pneumonia, diarrhea, measles, malaria, malnutrition, preterm babies and sepsis. So the disease not include is marasmus option. D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Kishori Shakti Yojana has been designed to improve the nutritional status of options. Option A, under 5 children. Option B, up to 10 years. Option C, adolescent girls. Option D, all of this. Kishori Shakti Yojana. That is KSY is an adolescent girl scheme under ICDS. So, it improve the nutritional status of adolescent girls. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. White plague is also known as options. Option A, tetanus. Option B, malaria. Option C, TB. Option D, measles. White plague is also known as TB or tuberculosis. Option C is the correct answer. TB is also known as white plague. Or barometer of social welfare. Okay. So both are TB. Tuberculosis. The next question. Slim's disease is. Options. Option A. Tuberculosis. Option B. Tetanus. Option C. Typhoid. Option D. AIDS. Acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Slim's disease is AIDS. Option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. National COPD Awareness Month is options option A June, option B August, option C September, option D November. National COPD Awareness Month is option D November. And the next question Lung Cancer Awareness Month is options option A June, option B August, option C September, option D November. Lung Cancer Awareness Month is also November option D is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. Childhood Cancer Awareness Month is options. Option A June, option B August, option C September, option D November. Childhood Cancer Awareness Month is September. Option C is the correct answer. Move on to the next question. National Stroke Awareness Month is options option A May, option B June, option C August, option D November. National Stroke Awareness Month is option A May is the correct answer. Sir. Move on to the next question. National Breast Cancer Awareness Month is options option A May, option B June, option C August, option D October. National Breast Cancer Awareness Month is Option D. October Today we discuss questions from Community Health Nursing. Surely these questions will be helpful for your upcoming exam. Exam is on 7th July. Study well for the exam. Think positively. Do hard work. Cover all the syllabus. And also cover the previous year question papers. If you have any doubts, you can put comment in the comment box. Also share my videos to your friend circle. If it is useful for your studies, share my videos to your friend circle and also subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching my video.